Chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy Chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy An autoimmune disorder. The immune system causes inflammation of nerve roots and peripheral nerves. And destruction of the myelin sheath of the nerve fibers. Loss or damage to myelin can cause slowing or blockage of the nerve signals and can lead to loss of nerve fibers. Some patients can become confined to a wheelchair if not diagnosed and treated early. Symptoms, weakness, paralysis, impairment in motor function, especially of the arms and legs. Sensory disturbance. Possible causes. Chronic hepatitis, diabetes, HIV, AIDS, systemic lupus erythematosus, immune system disorders due to cancer, cancer of the lymph system, inflammatory bowel disease, overactive thyroid. Comparison. Acute inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, Guillain-Barre syndrome, viral or infectious illness precedes, progresses over three to four weeks then plateaus and usually improves over months and does not usually recur. Usually symmetric, although mild asymmetry is not uncommon in the early course. Chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, viral or infectious illness does not proceed. Progresses over eight weeks and usually does not improve unless ongoing treatment is given. The motor and sensory impairments usually affect symmetrically, both sides. Treatment. All the treatments suppress or modulate the immune system and there are increased risks of infection and cancer. It is essentially the same with Guillain-Barre syndrome. Glucocorticoids, e.g. prednisone, alone or with immunosuppressive drugs. Intravenous immunoglobulin, subcutaneous. Delivery of immunoglobulin, plasma exchange, plasmapheresis. Removing immunoglobulins and other components of the immune response from the blood. The plasma is replaced with albumin and saline in. The blood cells are transfused back. CF. Multifocal motor neuropathy. Chacot-Marie tooth disease, multiple sclerosis.